Welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at connecting Podia, a very popular uh, digital download and membership platform, to a private podcast. You know we love private podcasts here, and we're going to show you how to do that. It's going to take a few things, a few elements. It's going to take Podia, first and foremost. It's going to take Zapier, if you have a Zapier account. It's sort of this glue that puts other applications on the internet in conversation with one another, if you've never seen it before. And of course, you'll need a Castos account for private podcasting. Uh, I'll save talking about Podia to the end, and we'll just talk about the structural setup at the start of this video. So I have a membership set up in Podia. It's called Matt's Magical Mastermind. And the idea is once somebody signs up to that, that membership, uh, it'll send that email address over to my private podcast hosted on Castos. And then from Castos, an email will go out to a subscriber, and I'll show it in a moment, uh, where they say, hey, you've signed up for Matt's Magical Mastermind. Uh, by the way, here's a link to a private podcast. This is not a podcast that's on iTunes or Google or Spotify. This is a, a members-only podcast, a premium podcast. If you're selling a membership, this is a great value add or one of the only ways you deliver uh, that private podcast or private content. All right, Matt's Magical Mastermind. Uh, I have one post set up. Uh, this is just a test site to show you how it's done. And the structural structural elements are, I have a free membership plan that anyone could sign up for, or you could have a paid membership plan, of course. And that's going to communicate over to the Zapier, which I was talking about. Let's take a look at the Zapier creation. Okay, here we are in Zapier, and I will give you the uh, overview of how I have this Zap set up. So we're saying, with the Podia app, whenever a new membership subscription is created, we'll send that over to Castos. Uh, you can do this with, because Podia, you can sell digital goods, digital products. You can also set this up as a new sale. So if somebody bought an ebook from you, maybe you can send them a private email um, to the to a private podcast. But we're going to do the new membership subscription. And the next step is choose the account. Of course, it's the Podia account. Find the data. It tests it, makes sure that it's all running uh, correctly. And then the second step is what it's going to do on the Zapier side, on the Castos side. So when we choose an app, we're obviously choosing Castos. We're going to say create a private subscriber. Choose the account. I already have Castos set up in Zapier. Uh, I have another video on that. I'll link that below if you want to see how that's done. Very straightforward. You're copying and pasting an API key. Um, customize the private subscriber if I want to send the name, the email address, everything into Castos and then test it and make sure that it's all successful. So I'm gonna add that and then we'll take a look at that member showing up uh, on my private podcast. So here we go, I'm gonna just log out because I have this test account here. Refresh the page. Uh, sorry, learn more, subscribe. Now I'm gonna create a free account. Again, I could have a paid account here. We're gonna hit continue. Name and email, so we'll say uh, podiacastos.com. I'll just show you first, just so you can actually see it working. Uh, go to Matt's private podcast, podcast settings, and you can see this is a private podcast. I have all these subscribers, these are all test subscribers. When I hit refresh here one more time, you'll see that there's only these four uh, private subscribers, but I'm gonna add uh, podia at castos.com, accept the terms. What this is doing is creating that free membership to Podia. Uh, we'll just say Podia user. Complete and view the posts. So this is a little bit of a tutorial of like walking through what it's like to sign up uh, with a Podia user. I don't have any other content on this Podia site except for this one single post that people can see. But in the back end, an email has now gone out and it sent it to uh, that fake email address that I put in, and also from Podia, and email's going out. We'll go to Castos, hit refresh. Scroll down, and there's Podia at Castos.com. So that's the free user uh, that was connected from the Podia account to the Castos account. That person can now listen to my private podcast. They got the link for that. I'm going to show what that, vi what that email looks up looks like right now up on the screen. And at any point, I can unsubscribe that user from the private podcast. 
So there's many ways that you can manipulate memberships and uh, manage memberships, probably a better word to say. Uh, but one of them is I can quickly come in and re revoke access to that user. So if they ever want to leave my community, if they cancel my membership, if you know you just don't want that person to get uh, get another podcast from you again, that you would unsubscribe them from this private podcast, and they have no way of getting new episodes. So it's a private podcast, but every user, like you see here on on the list of emails, they all have a, a unique RSS feed that only they can listen to that podcast with that unique link. So they can download all the episodes once they are a subscriber, but any future episodes, if you were to, ever to remove them, they'd never be able to get another episode again. So that's the uniqueness of having a private podcast. You can have a global private podcast where you don't really care about you know, people getting access to it and there's a unique link and that's this link right up here. You can share that with, with people. You're not really worried that if somebody else shares this link, they'll get access to it. But again, the user private podcast, they're going to get a special link that's assigned to their email address. And that's the one that if you ever revoke it, you ever change it, then you know that they'll never get another podcast again. Podia, uh, a fantastic platform. I've heard about it for years. I've not used it to uh, in depth or too in depth uh, with doing memberships and selling digital products, but I set this up literally in two minutes, maybe not even two minutes. <laughs> I mean, the onboarding walks you through it. Very straightforward, very clean, makes a ton of sense. Um, you're basically writing and creating content, uh, at least from just the membership side. Uh, through posts and you're doing it all from their platform. It was it was a breeze. Like it took me two seconds. I can go and edit this landing page just to show you. Um, I could create multiple tiers of memberships, of course, but I can come in and I can change this stuff. I can change the product banner. I don't have any products uh, actually to modify, uh, but I can change the, the header. I can put it in logos. I can go and change the appearance by changing colors. Let's see if I... I get a Castos red, sort of like this, kind of. Anyway, I can play with it. I can customize it. It was super easy. And I think if you're looking for an easy platform for membership content and digital content, Podia should be at least at the top of your list to check it out. And again, private podcast, Podia, Zapier, Castos. We love private podcasting. Castos.com. Uh, Castos.com slash podcast greater. If you want to get a feel for what private podcasts are and what they do, uh, if you go to castos.com slash podcast grader, you get a little grade on your podcasting journey. If you're already a podcaster out there or if you're just getting started, check that out. A bunch of resources, a bunch of free resources, a free checklist, free downloads. Um, but you can also subscribe to a private podcast that I do here at Castos. Get a feel for it. You can see how you interact with it. You can see how you can subscribe to it. Let me know what you think. All right. Thumbs up if you want more. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.